guys welcome back to the civil engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos in today lecture we are going to discuss the structure reinforcement for the slate so we can see here this is for example in the slate with the depth of slate for example is 15 centimeter this may vary depending on the design of the slate and this is here a wall on which the slate is supported and here this is for example a beam beam the, in which the other end of the slab is supported so the slab is supported on two structure members one is wall and one is beam and we want to discuss here the structure reinforcement for this slab so here we can see the longitudinal or the main reinforcement this is known as the main or the longitudinal reinforcement main reinforcement And this reinforcement is used to take the main load acting on the slab. For example, this is in a load acting on the slab. And due to this load, there will be some bending stresses in the slab. If I draw the bending stresses, so it will look like, like this. It will bend like this, the slab. Bend like this. So there will be some stresses and cracks produced in this direction. There will be cracks here like in this direction perpendicular to the direction of the reinforcement now to close these cracks or to avoid such cracks we provide the reinforcement here in the longitudinal direction for these stresses for these flexural stresses so this is known as the main reinforcement or the longitudinal reinforcement because they are provided along the, along the longitudinal direction of the slab so if i draw the slab for example in slab we mostly have two types of the reinforcement for example, this one is my main reinforcement or the longitudinal reinforcement. So here I represent this one. These are the main or the longitudinal reinforcement for taking the load. Now the other type of the reinforcement provided in the slab here is a, known as the shrinkage reinforcement. Here if I look to this figure, here this one is known as the shrinkage reinforcement. And why they are provided? They are not provided for taking the load, but they are provided in order to take the shrinkage stresses or the stresses due to the temperature change. For example, sometimes the temperature increases so and then decreases. So what happens? There are some stresses created due to the temperature change. So to resist or to avoid the cracks due to the shrinkage or temperature change, we provide the shrinkage reinforcement. So. If this is my slab again, so this reinforcement will be provided in this direction. These are the shrinkage reinforcement. Here, while before there were some reinforcement provided here, these blue lines, these were reinforcement in the longitudinal direction, which are responsible to take the main load acting on the slab. So there are two types of the reinforcement provided in this slab. Now we also have other type of reinforcement here we see here. In this case, uh, where it is the top of the slab, the, the negative bending moment, for example, this beam will bend like this. This bending moment diagram will look like this, here also. So what we see here, there are some negative bending moment here at this support. For this, we have to provide the reinforcement at the top of the section. Because we always provide the reinforcement where we need, where we have the tensile stresses or the bending stresses. So here, if this is the bending diagram for the slab, this one. So here we have bending stresses at the top of the beam. So to avoid to resist the bending stresses, we must have to provide the reinforcement. So again, we have the two type of the reinforcement. One is the main reinforcement. Here, this one is the main reinforcement for taking the load. And also again for the shrinkage or temperature change, we provide the shrinkage reinforcement. A temperature reinforcement similarly as well here in this portion of the beam this one is the main reinforcement or the longitudinal reinforcement for taking the load and here these are the temperature reinforcement or the shrinkage reinforcement for to take the shrinkage or the temperature stresses so this this is one design now this might be the one we slab and two we slab we provide the main reinforcement in both the direction so if I look to the two slab here, for example, 
So we provide the main reinforcement in this direction and also main reinforcement in this direction. Because it is a two-way slip, I mean that this dimension, for example, if this is the width and this is the length of the slip, so they both length and width, they are less than two, their ratio is less than two, it means this is a two-way slip. So we have, we have to provide the main reinforcement in both the direction in order to in order to resist it in salt stresses in both the direction because in this case we will have the bending moment in both the direction in longitudinal direction here for example this is a bending moment here in this direction and also we will have bending moment in this direction so for this case we provide the reinforcement in both the direction but this is the two way slip i discuss here i discuss the one way slip where we provide the longitudinal direction in one way direction in one direction while the shrinkage reinforcement are provided in the another direction. So hope you guys understand the today lecture and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more civil engineering videos.